Hi, Dave Linus here, President of Linus Welding Training out of Fargo in Bismarck, North Dakota. Today I'm going to weld on some 14 gauge in the short circuit transfer. We're going to be using C25 shielding gas, 75% argon, 25% CO2. And I've got the machine set at 17.6 volts and 192 on the wire feed speed. So I'm going to get uh, set up here. We'll tack up a TN lap joint and I'll show you a couple different techniques in the short circuit transfer. Alright, let's tack up the lap joint first. I usually just eyeball it as far as splitting the difference. So we're overlapping about half of a plate here. And press down on it on the top plate and give it a tack on the end here. Here we go. These plates are 10 inches long, which are they're, they're going to warp or distort if we weld from one end to the other. So I'm going to give it another tack in the middle here. We'll put in two, three inch long welds on this plate here. There we go. Now let's tack on our T joint. Again, we just eyeball it, center it. I like to lean it away from me a little bit when I put that first tack in so we can pull it back towards the tack. Here we go. Okay, now we have our pieces tacked up. Okay, now that we have our pieces tacked up, I'm going to show you a couple different techniques. We can do, we can push it, and I like to do that whip and pause. We can also drag it doing that whip and pause. Okay, um, I know some welders like to make a small E. Um, you know, everyone has their different techniques, but uh, you just find out what works best for you. So, today I'm going to do whip and pause. Whipping straight out and back, out and back. Okay, let's start with the with the drag. Here we go. And then we want to check the backside. We don't want melt through on this thin gauge material. Okay, so that's drag technique. Whipping out back, whipping out back. Try to keep on this 14 gauge, try to keep it to about an eighth inch fillet weld. Okay, so our leg sizes are eighth inch here. Alright, now on this side here, I'm going to do a push technique. Push technique looks like that whip and pause. And again, let's check the back side to make sure we don't have any melt through. And again, try to maintain about an eighth inch uh, fillet weld size. Okay, if your welds are too big, pick up the travel speed, move a little bit faster with it so you put in that smaller weld size. Now that we weld on the T joint, let's, let's make a couple welds on the lap joint. Again, we're going to use the same techniques. I'm going to do the whip and pause. We'll drag it on this side and we'll push it on this side here. Okay. Here we go. Now that we uh, ran our first weld there with the drag technique, on this side here, we're going to do the push technique. Again, it's going to be whipping pause. Here we go. Couple of the 
different techniques here. So we've got one of us a drag and the other one is the push whip and pause. Okay, I want to take a look at the back side and you can see that we, we don't have any melt through on either the push or the drag. So let's uh, just finish out the weld here. Here are the different welds with the uh, push technique and the drag technique, the whip and pause. And one thing you want to make sure, again, look at the back side. Make sure you don't have any uh, melt through. I get asked all the time if I like to push it or drag it when I'm wire welding. And, and what works best for me is I always push it. So uh, I showed you different techniques if you want to drag it versus push it on the thin gauge material. And if you want to do a whip and pause, you can also, I know uh, some instructors teach a small E, so just find out what technique works for you and try some different techniques. Um, as long as we have, a, have an acceptable weld at the end, that should be fine. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video today. I hope you enjoyed uh, some of the different techniques that I showed you with short circuit on 14 gauge.